So, uh, um, Dr. Javed, we just wanted to ask you what's uh, your advice for the Muslim youth of Newcastle upon Tyne. You know, you're a well renowned international speaker with a medical, strong medical background. What yeah, advice you. would you give to the Muslim youth? Um, for Actually, it's very unfortunate that we Muslims have got a treasure. Yeah. And we are sitting on the treasure like a snake sits on the treasure in the old mythical stories. Even at this time, our deen, our Quran has got solution of biological, physical, scientific, economic yeah. and social, psychological problems of whole of this world. But it is so unfortunate that we are not able to present it yeah. to the people. And this is actually a very big crime because we, are we, are, we were made custodian of all those treasures. And we are not actually giving it to the people. Mm -hmm. Now see, my advice will be, number one, when you have to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the people, okay. the most important thing is that we have our own strong belief about it. For example, if you are a shop and you are selling something to the people and you yourself know that this thing is not good, yeah. then you will not oh, have that conv naughty. conviction. Yeah. Yeah. You will not have that force. You will not have that enthusiasm. So the most important thing is that we should have a strong conviction about our deen. <clears throat> whatever Allah said, whatever is written in Quran, whatever Nabi Pak Wasallam brought here as a role model, yeah. we must have a strong conviction in it. Yeah. This is the first thing. Number two, whatever the way of the life, in other words, whatever was the model of living, which Nabi Kareem Wasallam brought over here, we have to present that model to the people. Yeah. That model is so attractive. That model is so simple. That model is so doable. That makes our life so convenient and comfortable. <clears throat> if we really do it ourselves, the way Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam advised us to marry, you know, to conduct the marriage. Yeah. As Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam advised us about the family life. As he advised us about our business models. Now, if we just follow it, and present it to the people. Yeah. That will be so attractive. And we know a lot of stories. Whole Indonesia became Muslim, not because soldiers came there. Traders actually came there, mm. which were Sahaba. And their dealing was so great that uh, they just accepted it. This is number two. And the third thing is that unfortunately, our social sense, our civic sense, which is called ikhlaq, they are also not up to mark. Yeah. Right. For example, when I'm walking, someone is coming from there. He's not concerned about my namaz. He's not concerned about my tahajjud. He's concerned about the fact that how nicely I behave with that person. You have got a neighbor yeah. and how nicely you actually behave with, with that neighbor. When you are walking, how decently you are walking. Hmm. When you are driving, how decently you are driving. Right. So all those civic sense, all that social sense, which is called ikhlaq, actually some of the companions of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked from Hazrat Aisha Razila Tala Anha that what was the purpose of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's prophethood? A very profound question. Hmm. What is the purpose? You know what she said? His purpose of prophethood was to spread the Uswai Hasana, which means good mannerism, hmm. good ikhlaq. So I think my advice in summary will be that uh, we must have a strong conviction in our own heart that whatever is actually we are holding is actually the real truth. Yeah. Number one. Number two, we should be producing those models of living which Nabi Sallallahu brought here. And thirdly, are dealing with not just with Muslims, with everyone on this planet. When I said everyone, our, you know, dealing with these plants. Yeah. We have to the most, we have to be the most nature friendly people. So our relationship with these plants, our relationship with our pets, our relationship with the wild animals, our relationship with all the inhabitants of this planet yeah. has to be exemplary. Then of course, our relationship with everyone, irrespective of his color, his creed, his, you know, his religion, his thoughts, his beliefs, we should have a rahmat for that. Mm -hmm. Because Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was not Rahmatul Lil Muslimin. He was made Rahmatul Lil Alamin. So I think these three things are very simple. And I, I 
you know i'm here for the last uh, couple of weeks and uh, honestly youth muslim youth over here has got tremendous potential like yourself <laughs> tremendous potential they have got love for their deen the only thing is to just organize them yeah. channel them so that they become kind of a kind of a role model for rest of the youth of the world so that's what i think no exactly thank you very, uh, thank you thank you